The following presentation is not a paid sponsorship for the United States of America military and the Concerned Veterans for America. We invite you to appreciate and enjoy this following commercial on the behalf of the CVA Defend Freedom Tour. The audience gonna sit in real quick, do you understand? Yes, sir! As soon as you get on that plane and you're on your way to Afghanistan, you understand? Yes, sir! Bless the earth! Dirty my back! Our That's rust. Yeah. Automatic weapons failure. Get to the Ryan Rust. Get to the Ryan That's rust. I can see talking port arms too. Get on your face. It's all oriented towards we we, we oriented towards combat. You know, because hey, if you were told to do something, you told to move or do something, and you don't do it, people can lose lives. <laughs> One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. My name is Monica Paul. Young lady, where do you live? I live in Richmond, Virginia. Who do you is your commander? My commander is Pete Hespeth. He is the CEO of Concerned Veterans for America. My mission is today to let everybody know veterans need help. They got a vet coming out. My message is to tell everybody that CVA needs more help. So come on out and support our vets. Because we taking our message to D.C. Because our vets need our help. I might not have served up my military. But you see, I serve it proud. I'm serving it proud to the day. Because I love this country. Because my parents were military vets. And my uncle was too. And my cousin was too. These vets. Protect this country. They serve this country proudly. We are taking our message to DC. And now that is real talk. CVA is a good organization. So report to us and take care of it. We gonna have a lecture coming up in 2016, and that is real talk with Monica, guys. I want to thank all the good men and women of the armed services, and thank you proudly for standing and and standing out behind real talk with Monica. You are a blessing. That thank God for all of the love and support that you continue to give real talk with Monica. 
And I thank, um, thank God for all the men and women of the armed services. Because of you, you have served and protected this great nation, and you have been a supporter of Real Talk with Monica. And I want to thank you for watching Episode 9, Drumming Behind CVA. You have made that one of the um, exploding episodes. And thank God, even though I might not have served the military, I proudly wear this um, uniform today as my service. Even though I'm not a paid um, sponsor for CVA, it's just my paying back contribute to the love that I have for the military of the great men and women who put on this, who put on this uniform as a sacrifice. And even though y'all might not know, my nickname is Special Ops, baby. You know it now. The secret is out. And, and I thank God for all our military men and women, and I thank the family that take the sacrifice of the great loss. And because of you, you make Real Talk with Monica um, the growing popularity as you do. And thank you, the great men and women that serve this great country. And keep on supporting this Real Talk with Monica train, guys. Because I got my marching orders, guys. And I'm taking it right up to D.C., baby. Come on with us. One, two, three, four. I'm taking my orders right to D.C. Hello, world. Where I'm at, that. Nobody stopping me. This real time train is moving. Nobody is stopping me. Thank you, support, guys. Thank you, support. Real talk with Monica. We um, we not at the finish line, guys. We just getting started. Thank you. Real talk with Monica. Changing man's production. <laughs>